it's a final step for our backpack, um, our bandana backpack. We're gonna take our one of our 67 inch ropes and we're gonna put a large safety pin. Don't poke yourself like I just did. Like that. Through it. And look what you're gonna do is that's just gonna help you feed it through the opening. So the opening's here. You're just gonna have to feed it through and you're gonna have to be pretty patient because you have to push the rope and kind of pull. It takes a little bit of time and patience, but the goal is that you're gonna have it all the way on the other side. You just have to keep pushing. What I like to do is squinch up the material. Squinch it up and pull, squinch it up and pull. It's this, you're just, we're just gonna have to work a little bit as a team, helping each other, because some people will get this really quickly. You'll probably even get it maybe better than me and then others will struggle with it. But you're just trying to feed it through as good as you can. So I'm pushing the material forward and then pushing that back. Push the material forward, push it back. And then you made it to the end. So you're gonna pull that and you're not gonna stop there. You're gonna keep going. Then you're gonna feed it through the next one. That's why we had to have those openings really important. And so feed it through. So I like to push the material forward and then pull it back. That's why we put the safety pin because it makes it a lot easier than just having the rope. Push it forward. I don't know what it's like, a snakeskin maybe? Like push it, push it, push it, and then pull. Almost there. So we're gonna do this one to come this way, all the way to the opening, and made it. All right, so then we pull. All right, so that is only one part of it. That's on this side. And then you've gotta do the other side. You can straighten it up if you want. Time we're gonna go on this side. So you might wanna take your pin, safety pin off back on a different one and you're going to do the same thing on the other side so these are sticking to the right you're going to go inside the same opening I, I just went under it and this one will be a little harder because there's not as much space as the other one so I'm going to just go right under the other one and do the same thing okay you can stop it right there Okay, so as it's getting close to the end, it's getting a little bit harder for me to do it because of the space, but I'm going to persevere and get it done. Push, push, push. It does take a little bit of time. This is probably the harder part of the whole project. Okay, so now what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up having two... Uh-oh. Hold on, Tommy, stop it. Okay, so we're almost at the other end. So it's really important that when you decide, when you're thinking about what side the, the strings go on, you wanna always go in the opposite side. So we had the strings on one side, we started on the opposite side. So now we're gonna pull it to try to make them even. It's a little bit tight. I think it's because the ropes are like summer. Okay, that's what happened. So we need to make like, try to get them even that the ones on top and ones on the bottom, that they're not messed up. And then you wanna make sure that you pull them so that they're even. There you go. And so if it looks like a mess at the top, you can kind of feel it and see, okay, well, which one of it is it, is it top and which one's at the bottom. Okay, so now that we did that, we're going to go ahead and this one has a Safety pencil will go ahead and feed it through. And all you're gonna do, you can take it out at that point, is you're just gonna knot it. So you make your knot. And we're gonna come on this side and make our knot. I think 
your strings are probably a little bit longer than these are because these are a little bit shorter. Okay, so then when we pull it, there's our backpack. Back set. And then we're styled.